Hello my friends, it's Julia here today. I'm in my kitchen again. Can you see my beautiful orchids here in the background? Yeah, I love having this orchid window in my kitchen. So today I wanted to give you a quick tour of my refrigerator and show you what I do so that it's really easy for me to have a great salad every day. So let's get started. And here is where I'm going to start with my salad. Um, this is some sushi rice I cooked a while ago um, that I'm going to put on my salad today and I'll show you how. This is some red cabbage. And then this here is a big giant bowl of my chopped up lettuce. And I'll show you those details in a few. Here I have some cooked mushrooms. This is a purple daikon. Then on here we got some cucumbers. Here is green onions. And then this is it for what? Alrighty. Alrighties, let's talk lettuce first. So this is a giant bowl. This holds 32 cups. It's from Tupperware. I think I got it through Amazon. And what I do is I get the bags of lettuce from Trader Joe's and then I chop things really, really small because I like my lettuce leaves to be uh, small, chopped like this, find it's easier to eat, and find it easier to eat the large quantities of, of lettuce that I like to eat. And I, you know, I have a paper towel here at the bottom, and then I cover it up with a paper towel and actually store it upside down. Um, and this does get uh, moist, and so I will replace that uh, once or twice. And usually I get three or four seven ounce bags, and that lasts me for three or four days of uh, lettuce salad eating and this way then it becomes really easy just to put together a salad because everything is is already done I spent you know 15 minutes half an hour uh, once or twice a week uh, prepping everything and then um, I throw a salad together today I'm at home for lunch so I will make my salad live for you so to speak other days I'll make the salad in the morning and take it with me for my outings during the day and then have my salad on the run. Let's have a look at these other items. So what I have here is, again, I have a towel and then paper, a paper towel in here. So this is diced. This is a julian daikon radish. This is a purple daikon in this case. And what I have here is, you know, I have a mandolin and I actually use this blade with the fine blades to um, grate, uh, to slice this daikon. Um, sometimes I'll do it with like carrots or other hard vegetables like that and you know it makes it really easy to throw onto my salad and I'll show you how I put together my what I call my sushi sushi salad here in, in a minute. I have a couple of other blades for the um, mandolin. This one is a larger slicer and then this one just makes uh, really fine strips. So here is some green onion that I slice up and again I store in here with a paper towel to um, soak up that moisture because the vegetables will go bad faster when they're in too moist of an environment. Alrighty, so here is my cucumber and uh, I use the divider blade on the mandolin to slice these cucumbers and what I do is I use these, they're called Persian cucumbers, I get at Trader Joe's, they seem to be just the right size to um, slice easily and then I do three or so of them at a time and then that lasts me about the same amount of time as the lettuce and uh, you know, makes it quick and easy to throw onto a salad. Alrighty, so here is my mushrooms and I get a you know eight ounce box of mushrooms, slice them up and cook them in a nonstick pan and then store them in the refrigerator like this and then just add a mushrooms worth of uh, slices onto my salad every day to make sure that I get my mushrooms in. Alrighty, so here is my purple cabbage. And I use the mandolin with, uh, you know, the attachment doesn't have any um, cutting on it, but to set it on the thinnest one that I can find. So I get these really fine strips of cabbage. And I really love having the purple cabbage around. It's great to add onto a salad, adds a little bit of crunch, adds a little bit of color. And it's also great to use, you know, in soups or stir fries. 
in that it adds a little bit of color and nutrition. So purple cabbage is one of my favorite vegetables to keep around in this form because it's just super useful. Okay, so the today then, what I, uh, one thing that I also keep around is sliced and diced um, bell peppers. And today I have to actually prepare some more, so I'm going to show you how I do that. So the first thing I do is, is I cut the tops and the bottoms off. So I'm left with, you know, the middle that looks like this. And this is the top and the bottom. And these pieces I'm going to cut into dices. And these pieces I'm going to cut into strips. And then I'm going to use this mostly on my salad. And then I have these to use in a stir fry or something like that. And then if I find that I'd rather have it diced, it's actually really fast to take a few strips and dice them up and throw them into something or throw them in on my salad. So that makes it real easy to have variety and have vegetables available for both um, raw consumption in the form of dices and as well as, as uh, being able to cook with it in the forms of strips. So I will show you what that looks like after I'm finished with my chopping here. Alrighty, so here we are, I'm finished with the chopping. So here's the, the diced parts and then here we got the strips and I'm going to put a lid on the strips and put those in the refrigerator because I don't need those for my salad right now and I will be putting some of the diced onto my sushi salad. Alrighty, so here I have my bowl that I'm going to use today and this is actually a serving bowl for, you know, side dishes or something like that that came from my lovely grandmother. As a state, so I use it now to have my salad every day. And I got my scale out so that I could show you easily sort of the quantities I'm putting on this. I'm looking to get about a pound of raw vegetables into this meal. And I'm going to start with the salad, and I'm looking to do about eight ounces of leafy greens here. And this is a mixture of um, three different kinds of bagged lettuce that I got at Trader Joe's, it includes butter lettuce arugula and then some other green lettuce there's a few carrots in here as well um, all right and as you can see i'm looking for about eight ounces here it fills up my bowl okay and then Next, I'm going to put on my sushi rice here. And again, this is rice that I previously made. Uh, I make it in my Instant Pot, and I can I will show you that on another day. And sushi rice is um, a short grain rice, and that's mixed with some rice vinegar, salt, and sugar. I only use rice vinegar and not, none of the salt and sugar. And so I put that on top of here. We'll see how nicely I can make that look today. Um, you know, when you have two hands, it's a little bit easier. Holding the camera makes it difficult. Okay, so then I'm going to start piling on the vegetables. And I always go with the rainbow, so here are my red vegetables. These are some of the uh, uh, bell pepper that I just diced. Red, orange, yellow, then comes green. So here is going to be my cucumbers. Just put the rest of these on here too. Cucumbers, and the, a few of the daikons, a little bit of daikon, and a little bit of the purple cabbage, and then we want a few mushrooms six slices or so it's all that's required in this case and then when I make the sushi bowl I also like to have a little bit of avocado and I'm gonna zero out my scale here I want to stick to about two ounces of avocado and I know So I get these, okay, so that works out great. So I get these teeny, teeny tiny avocados at, they're called uh, Trader Joe's. And one of them is just about two ounces. So that works out perfectly. And then here's the green onions. And if I don't have green onions or I don't, um, I want something else, sometimes I'll put some red onions too, because red onions really are my favorite when it comes to a salad. It's just 
I know it depends on how much time I have. And today I don't want to deal with the red onions, so it's green onions only. So here's the salad, and I'm going to put something else on here. Okay. And because this is a sushi bowl, I also like to put on a little bit of pickled ginger. And then lastly, I'm going to douse all of this with, well, that was maybe not quite the right term, but put a bunch of soy sauce over this. And that is my lovely salad. Alrighty, my lovely friends. So this is how I create my sushi bowl. I hope you will join me in having one of these delicious salads soon. And if you have any questions, please comment below and let me know how I can help you out.